Hey everyone, today I've finally gotten around to the video idea I've been working on for a little while. I'm sure you saw the title, but basically, I'm going to try to give some info about how you should go about team building. Starting off with some of the unit roles though, there are a multitude including DPS, healer, archgen support, taunt tanks, damage negators, damage resist buffers, cleansers, and a lot more. Some comps need some of these more than others, but units become more valuable when they're able to do multiple of these roles, such as War God Fen, who can DPS, Arch 10 support, and even give damage resist. In my mind, there are two separate ways that you can build a team. You can either build a team around a certain unit, or you can build a team around certain content. Of course, you can merge these two, but that does make it a lot harder. To start with the easier of the two, building a team around a unit, this is going to be for the easier content like Specs Hyper, Stages, and Under. Comps designed around a single unit might be able to take on harder content, but generally, focusing on a single unit rather than the entire team hurts its ability to take on harder content. Single focus comps are usually focused around a DPS, so we'll start with that. Let's say you're going to use a physical DPS like Mikey, so now you're going to want to include an Archgen. There's lots of options to choose, like Haruto, Mako, Emperor, Juno, Finn, and etc. When choosing an Archgen, if you have the option, try to pick one that'll complement the focused unit the best, such as buffing their damage or being the same damage type as them. In this case, I'll choose Mako since she not only heals and Archgens, but she will buff Mikey's Arch damage by 90%. As for the third unit, you can either choose another Archgen or a Supporter. So in this case, I'll choose Mitsuya, the reason being that he'll provide 80 Arts that stacks with Mako, as well as 120% attack for Mikey. And for the last unit, this would be a flexible unit, depending on what you'd need to do in the mission, such as if you needed more heals, more damage, damage resist, or damage negation. So if you were to need some damage negation, a damage negator like Sestina or Fatoria would help. Or if it's a fairly easy mission and you just need damage support, 12th Gen Mizuki or Draken would work as well. Or healers such as Haruto or Aerostella could work if you do need heals. But those are just some very general comps for easy missions. But now I'll move on to the harder team building, building comps for specific content. Content where specific comps are needed, such as Ganon, Chloe, or even the New Summoner's Road are good examples of these. In a general sense, you're going to want to use units that are able to counter the stage mechanics or boss. For an example though, I'll use the stage 3 of Summoner's Road, the Earth one that just came out recently. For this stage, the mechanics include that the boss needs to be poisoned as well as take crits to take a noticeable amount of damage. Earth units have their damage heavily reduced, so that means you're going to want to hold off on using any of those. To take care of the crit attacks, you want to obviously bring a crit buffer. This can be Vox, Mikey, or Priscilla. In this case, let's choose Vox since he can art to heal the team, as well as cleanse using his 4 star heal slot. For poisoning the enemy, there's two ways to go about it. You can either bring a poison unit like Pola, or you can use a poison equip. Pola would be more consistent when poisoning, but an equip will allow you an extra unit to use for more support or DPS. So let's say you now use Pola since you wouldn't really care for speed. You now need an Archgen to fuel the team. There's a multitude of Archgens, but you should choose one that matches the team. So if you need heavy heals, Haruto would be great, or Emperor in slot 2 for his damage resist. Let's say that you do end up using Emperor though in slot 2. That just leaves the last slot, and since the only heals on the team are from the art from Vox, it'd be best to bring a healer to cover the majority of healing. I could use Haruto, but he doesn't stack Arts Gauge with Emperor, so a good option would be Mako. She's able to heal, increase Arts Gauge, as well as Arts Damage, and she has a heal slot that can be used to cleanse. With this team, it should be more than enough to power through the stage. It has Arts Gen, DPS, Heals, Cleanse, Poison, and Damage Resist. So to wrap it up, the basic gist of team building for specific content is to build units around the stage mechanics. If the boss is water, use water resist, or if they need to be burnt, bring units that can burn. The search option in the unit list is great for doing this, as it can look up pretty much anything that a unit can have in their kit. I hope that you were able to learn something from this guide that I made. If you have any other questions on how to team build, be sure to let me know. I'd also appreciate it if you sub to the channel. Thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you later.